I'll tell you what, guys. After the night we had between the walleye keeping us up and the ice keeping us up, because when I say she talked like I've never had ice talk before, she talked. But there's nothing prettier than that percolator coffee getting ready to start percolating. Because it's going to be a long day. I made more fish to catch. But last night, Jaw Jacker over there, or the Brown Rail over there, was doing the talking. Along with that one right there. We put three fish in the shack from that two keepers, one throwback, and then one jaw jacker gave us a fish. We are rolling a little smoke right now. So it's smoky in here that cracked the door open. But the coffee she is done. The bacon has been sampled. Now let's get the fish. Day two, Lake Ogivik. Another amazing day on the lake. Jaw jackers are set up. We are jigging and the lake is a singing. Wind break on the Eskimo shack. Winds are about six to ten miles per hour pretty gentle for this lake monday morning and not many people out here let's we'll see what rob is up to good morning rob How you doing? catching anything not shit this morning <laughs> About 21 feet of water. I'm gonna shoot for 24, but we did okay here yesterday and I didn't move us out farther, so. The struggle of leaving fish to find fish is always a struggle. But uh, we'll see what the morning brings. And there's a heck of a group right on the point. They've been there for two days now. We might go say hi. Maybe we won't. We have options. Could you tell the lake to stop having the cracks go right underneath us? Lake. Stop the cracks going right underneath us, Justin. Oh, thanks, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully today we get some nice big old perch. Last night overnight we got a whole bunch of walleye. Even had one at 8.30 this morning. Walleye. We'll call that the night or the day or whatever. And start a new day out here. We had seven perch yesterday out here, so hopefully we can match that at least. If I don't find some big ladies, we'll make some changes. <laughs> Them fat bottom girls matter. <laughs> oh, whiskey does not look amused. Not near as much as I am. <laughs> Whiskers. Good girl. Another freaking walleye. Nope. Ooh, a nice little one. Well, still little for here, but better than a lot we caught yesterday. Yeah. She's a lady, just not a big lady. Pretty. But our first of the day. Yay! Whiskers, yes. Okay. We got, no, we gotta let her go. No. 
back to her depths. Thought I'd give you a quick walkthrough of the overnight shanty setup we got going. Step right into the right, we kind of have a uh, electronics department, charging and all that good stuff. We do have a rattle reel right there. We roll to a cooking station on the opposite side. Got a rod holder up on the wall here. An R holds rod holder, by the way. Another rattle reel down in the corner. We run a disco bed cot system right now configured in the couch because, well, Cindy's a little bit tired, tired. Running a diesel heater set up. We're keeping her outside. Pulling the intake air from inside though. I am running the H Calroy. So far it seemed to treat me pretty good. I have a few mods done to it. If anybody has any questions on that, I'm happy to talk about it. I do have a predator generator because we are trying to stay for five days. I don't have a battery that's gonna take us that long, so we run that a little bit later in the evening and well, one of the benefits is we get to run the uh, projector and watch the movie on it later tonight too, so we'll on that later. Got a little catch and cook we're gonna do for you. Uh, take some of the walleye that we got last night. And we are actually gonna use catch and cook flame spicy for it. We're just gonna batter it up and give her a little deep fry and I'll let you know how it comes out. I'll let that oil heat up a little bit more before we get there though. So after a little taste test we decided that this delicious looking walleye right here needs a little bit more flavor so we're coming in with a little slap you mama it's a personal flavor of ours and we're just gonna give it a little dash across to everything and that just changes everything from there on out it is money time to eat morning everyone it's day three up here on Lake Ogeebic of our overnights got some clouds today which honestly I'm kind of happy to have because we got a little sunburn yesterday I don't generally pack sunscreen in my uh, ice fishing kits for overnights but uh, at this rate it's something that I may need to look at adding uh, last night was slower on the walleye. We only had the rattle reel go off and catch us one little walleye And I honestly didn't record it because I thought it was just a minnow trip It was only a little uh, 12 inch walleye, so he didn't uh, take much line and it Just didn't seem quite like the minnow, but it wasn't the minnow. So we didn't record that but we got the coffee pot coming up on heat uh, we were lucky that it did get below freezing last night and they said it wasn't going to because all of this stuff you see on top of our footprint was all kind of slushy on top yesterday and it at least solid back up enough that we're going to be able to walk around out without getting the feet too wet i'm out here walking around my crocs again until i get my boots on for the day give them all the jaw jack or the once over here but they all seem to be in pretty good shape. Decided not to fire the generator up last night because I was just exhausted. So uh, about 40 minutes ago, my main battery for the diesel heater was getting kind of low. So I went ahead and fired it up and we got her running now. So we'll let her run while we get breakfast made and whatnot. And I'll be sure to fire her up when we get back to camp tonight. Uh, I think we're gonna go down about a half mile from where we were at today. 
uh, see what we can do there. Yesterday was definitely a slow day for us all the way around compared to what we had on day one, but we'll see what day, day three can bring. Don't have to pull up too far, just whisk you back. Whisk you back. Oh, we got a snot rocket. Oh, a wee little rocket. There's a new one for us. And that's just a wee little rocket. I'll go on back and have another day, but here we thought maybe we had another walleye, but so Cindy is still yet to get a Gogebic walleye. We'll see what it did. I did a terrible job video on this, I guarantee it, folks, but sometimes it is what it is when you haven't had your coffee. Oh, it just had a jaw jacker go off as we were starting to pull them. And this one just grew up a little bit. Just put a little drag out. I didn't get a chance to see it. I think we got a snot rocket. <laughs> I think we got a snot rocket too. Just a second. Well, you scared that. Well, I needed to get through the hole. <laughs> I had just spotted it open just enough to. Uh, oh, it's not small. It's not big either. Oh, not bad. It's probably pushing that 24 mark. <laughs> two so, pike. <laughs> two snot rockets this morning. <laughs> oh. And I will go get my tools. <laughs> so, here we are on day three. And so far, Cindy's missed a fish because she was playing on her phone. I've missed a fish because I was trying. But so far today, it's sunny, it's hot. Not hot. And that's all that's going on. It's like beach weather up here. Not even. And uh, just for reference, t-shirt bibs for you know just to keep the sun off after yesterday's sunburn compared to it's cold she is making shit up folks no i'm not this is the truth <laughs> even whiskers says it's beautiful she looked at her pant almost sleeping away so I felt like I needed to talk to you this today, at least on the ice, since we got out of the shack this morning. We had little fish. That's a couple pick, uh, a couple pike. Um, a couple pickles. What type of fishing? I was gonna say pickerel. <laughs> Canadians say pickerel a lot, so that's what I was gonna say. Then I corrected myself. <laughs> Although actually, I think Canadians may actually call them walleye pickerel. It, it varies by region. Snot rocket is the go-to term, though. <laughs> There's no mistake on that. Um, so I guess if we make something happen today, I'll get some footage for y'all. Hopefully I can. If not, maybe we'll let Cindy crash the drone again. At least that killed some time. Because yes, I took her to a 11 mile long, two mile Shut wide up. lake and she hit a tree again. The director is not the operator. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, folks. We're gonna keep trying. We're fishing. I'm gonna keep moving lines, but I'm not real hopeful on where we're at. Maybe if we haven't got anything here by one, 
will move either down farther or back up to where we have been the last couple of days. We at least got some fish there. Day one, it was really good there. But uh, day two, we hit this really warm and stuff. The ice, uh, she's not holding real well. She's holding, but we are last ice. So even the shanty has got some water coming up through the tiles from the warmth yesterday. But uh, it's not bad. Just annoying at this point. But we'll see what happens. We'll keep trying. So when last ice, sunburn, ice fishing isn't doing what it's supposed to, we do play a little catch with the dog midday. Who's a good girl? Bring it back. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl, Whisker? Come here. Come here. Bring it. Who's a good girl? You such a good girl. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, we want to go again? You want to go again? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Come here, Whiskers. Come here, Whiskers. <laughs> Come, here. Come here, Whiskers. Whiskers. Come here. Wrong human, baby girl. She's no. done. You're done? Oh, you're going to go pee in between. <laughs> break, stop! <laughs> Bathroom break! Lunch today. Ham and roast beef sandwiches with chips. Ooh, with cheese. As soon as we get the package open. There we go. Ignore the dog here. Lunch is served on the back of the box the dog sits on. <laughs> May I have some, please? Please? You'll get some, baby girl. Another male. Yeah, she know it's a little female. Oh, is it? Yeah. No whiskers. You don't get to eat that. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Not skunk today. Not skunked. Woo! I'm a bush and running for you next time, honey. Woo! Oh, finally. It's been a long day. <laughs> finally! Whiskers. You want to say bye? No. <laughs>
Away she goes. Woohoo! Oh shit. <laughs> the bait's all the way over there. <laughs> okay. No fish in front. So after a longer run over here than it should have been. We got a nice little male, but he took the bait. But we didn't bring anything to reset, so we made a quick release of him and then we went back to get more bait. So now we are going to reset another wiggler. We look for that curl right there for our bait pile. They curl, they're good to go. We drop bait straight through the tail hook when you hit it right. So he curls up just so nice. We are running two hooks here in Michigan. And sometimes they want the bottom hook and they want the top hook. So we're going to drop everything down on the jaw jacker until it is about a foot off the bottom on the bottom hook. And then the top hook is if they really want it, they come up to get it. Just wait for her to come down. So okay. we'll line off. There it is. When I'm dropping them down, sometimes I set the uh, lock in place when it's dropping because it takes a minute for it to drop. And then I drop the bail and we are set on the bottom. And I lay it over the trigger mechanism on the jaw jackers. And right now we're right about where we need to be. Just want to make sure the rod is locked. The reel is locked, I'm sorry, not the rod. And we drop in and lay that right there. And we're reset. We will hope for another and another long run that will wind us. <laughs> and we will complain. <laughs> we'll be happy to have it. Ice camp tonight still. Hey! I heard it. And hey, sorry. We just. <laughs> we had a uh, jaw jacker just go off in the middle of my uh, spiel about ice condition. So, watch the wife run. <laughs> Cindy, is it still bending? I don't see the bend, so I'll give you that possibility, but we are going to record said mist either way. We even have two baits. Two baits still. So, she was a true miss. So, we're going to end this little portion with uh, this walking. I was going back to get electronic to reset the bait. Well, their last fish came off this one and it makes me question the fact that we pulled the one that was deeper earlier so uh, we're gonna get this one reset we'll talk to you later about how bad the ice is okay so <laughs> after the last miss Cindy said I'm taking the electronic with me Whiskey says I'm getting there first. Hi. Oh, I see Rod Ben. <laughs> she speeds up all of a sudden. I still see Rod Ben.
Where's the focus on that hole? So we don't have it. It's just a little perch. No, I see it down there. Maybe not so little. Measured and released back. Okay. Whiskey. So Cindy just caught our biggest lady of the shrimp. She's not an absolute monster, but we are going to measure her in at a solid 13.5 is all she is, but look at that belly on her. And the reason we come here is because they sit on their own belly. There is nobody that will say a belly on a girl like that is not good. And now we are gonna give her a swim back. There she went with a hard swim down and a beautiful release. Just had a rattle reel start going off. I'm betting he's chomping it right now. Grab the base. Bring it up. Yep. See if you feel it. Oh yeah. Set it. That's kind of dark over there, but small.
got a little bit of fight to oh. <laughs> Got too much head shake, be too big, but it's trying to grow legs though. No. I see a flash. I see a flash too. Oh, it's not that big. Oh. It's bad though. Okay. Another small little walleye. I don't quite think it's gonna make the mark. But it's not. Oh my goodness, I'm cold. I will go grab. So, we ain't got an opening for this trip in yet. We are gonna shoot for five nights on Gogebic. But the ice just isn't gonna give it to us. So, in the morning, we're gonna break the shack down, take half the supplies back in. Our plan is to fish most of the day tomorrow and get a room up here before we have to take the. Uh, 10 hour drive home because it's long if we fish even at noon. So let's hope we have some good walleye tonight. But even a short trip up here is absolutely gorgeous. And you can't beat this. <laughs> no, you can't beat this. We enjoy it every time we get to get here. And until next time.